Sean Kinney, 10 minutes. Thank you, um, Lars Cancorla. I, I'm glad to, to speak on this bill. Um, legislation that governs issues surrounding DNA and crime is a sensitive issue and involves one that uh, needs balancing the need to conduct effective criminal investigations with the need to protect human rights and civil liberties. The enactment of this legislation uh, is a key commitment that was made in the program for government and when it is up and running the DNA database will have the capacity to link crimes and to identify suspects in relation to unsolved crimes. This will enable the Gardaí to conduct better investigations and to make better use of resources in addition to making use of such database technology in the forensic field, has the added benefit of facilitating the searching subject to strict conditions of other national uh, DNA databases. In bringing forward this legislation, the Minister has um, stated that the legislation would fully respect human rights, and I believe this uh, will be done. The bill provides for the taking subject to appropriate safeguards of biological samples in the form of mouth swabs or hair follicles from suspects and convicted persons, including sex offenders, from which their DNA profiles will be generated for entry in the database. Crime scene profiles from unsolved crimes, whether occurring before or after the new legislation becomes law, will also be entered on the database. The actual data will be held on purpose-built software already in use uh, by a uh, other agencies around the world. This software system is used in over 40 countries, including 18 EU member states. It, it was installed here in the Forensic Science Laboratory in 2012. The level of intelligence that will be generated by a DNA database will be invaluable to the Gardaí in relation to identifying uh, offenders uh, involved in crimes such as burglary. It will also have the impact, a big impact in relation to serious offences against the person, such as homicide and sexual offences. It will contribute to a move towards more effective, targeted and smarter policing operations and will also facilitate, facilitate cooperation with other police forces across the world. In addition to benefiting criminal investigations, the database will also be a benefit in identifying persons missing and unknown persons, including unidentified human remains or people who have been the victims of natural or man-made disasters. It is also very important to point out uh, that the database will be of benefit in establishing the innocence of persons suspected or wrongly convicted of offences and it will help in preventing miscarriages of justice. I think the, the, these are very important points and I think they should, they should be clearly stated. The bill published today is, is substantially amended in many respects to address issues that give rise to genuine concerns including in relation to the sensitive area of the retention of samples and DNA profiles of persons who are not subsequently convicted in order to ensure that any interference with their privacy rights is justified by the public interest in the investigation of crime and that it is proportionate. Clear terms govern the level of information that is to be given to a person before a sample is taken in the case of compulsory samples and before consent uh, is sought in the case of voluntary samples. The types of samples that may be taken from persons for the purpose of the database are restricted to the least intrusive samples. Mouth swabs are plucked ha head hair. Draft codes of practice for the purpose of giving practical guidance as to the procedures regarding the taking of samples under the bill are to be drawn up by Angarda Shikana, the Ombudsman Commission, the Irish Prison Service and the Irish Youth Justice Service for the approval by the Minister and these codes will be published. A high offence threshold for the take of samples from suspects and offenders applies. Generally, samples may only be taken for the purpose of the database or for evidential purposes in relation to offences having a penalty of five years imprisonment or more. Where reasonable force may be used to take a sample, it, is, it requires prior authorisation of an officer of at least superintendent rank and its use must also be observed by a senior person who has responsibility for determining how many officers are required and it must be ele electronically recorded. There are special safeguards for protect protected persons and children who are suspects. Protected persons will be subject to sampling for the purpose of the database. Evidential samples may be taken where required. Children under 14 will not be subject to sampling for the purpose of the database. Evidential samples may, may be taken where required. The position with regard to children of 14 years and older is to be reviewed within six years. 
reasonable force may not be used to take a database sample from a child suspect. Information is to be given in a language and manner appropriate to the protected person and is to be age appropriate. Provisions made for a person other than a member of the Garda Shikana to be present when a sample is being taken from a protected person or a child. The person may be a parent, guardian, adult relative or a person nominated by the member in charge. Such persons are also to be given the information that is required to be given to the protected person or child. Special provision is made in relation to the giving of consent on behalf of protected persons or children for the taking of intimate samples where required for evidential purposes. In certain circumstances, a district court order may be sought to authorise the taking of an intimate sam sample. In general, the consequence of refusing to, to consent to the taking of an intimate sample is that an, an adverse inference may be drawn in subsequent proceedings. This consequence does not arise in the case of protected persons or, for the most part, in the case of children. <clears throat> there are safeguards in the bill around the database, the DNA database itself. The purposes of the database are set out clearly in the bill in order to counter any possibility of, quote, function creep, unquote. And this is something which I, I am strongly in favour of and I welcome. The searches that may be conducted between different categories of profiles entered in the database are to be specified to ensure that a profile is only used for the purpose for which it was taken. The management and operation of the database is to be subject to independent oversight by a statutory com committee for the purpose of ensuring its integrity and its security. This committee is to be chaired by a judge or a former judge of the circuit or high court and will include a representative of the data protection commissioner. The committee may also make recommendations to the director of FSI or the minister as regards the management and operation of the database. The committee may, on its own volition, conduct reviews of any aspects of the management and operation of the database, and the minister may also instruct the committee to review any matters relating to the, the database. <clears throat> the committee's reports are to be submitted to the minister and are to be laid before the House of the Oireachtas and published subject to certain restrictions in the interest of national security, the security of the database, criminal investigations, and to avoid infringing the constitutional rights of any individual. Disclosure of information relating to biological samples or information on the database is a criminal offence, tribal, summarily, or on indictment. It's over two minutes remain. Okay. Uh, in conclusion, in relation to persons who are not proceeded against or are not convicted, the bill includes a presumption, presumption in favour of the remo removal from the database of the DNA profiles of such persons subject to the guard of the commissioner having the power to authorise attention on the database where he is satisfied that this is necessary. A statutory test is set out by which the guard of the commissioner will make this decision. His decision can be appealed. The retention period allows, allowed will be six years in the case of adults and three years in the case of children. The DNA profiles of persons of serious, of, of serious offences will, of course, continue to be held on the database indefinitely. I, I commend the bill, Vasco and Gordon.